This is the plaintiff, Bob Perry. He says he built a countertop and a stage at the defendant's dance performance space. And the woman flipped out after the job was completed, and she refuses to pay him for the materials he purchased for her. He did a great job, gave her free labor, and he's rip, roaring mad that he can't get her to pay him the $800 she owes him. So he's suing her. This is the defendant, Adrian. She says the plaintiff led her to believe he was going to be renting her space. And that's why she allowed him to make some renovations. She let him paint the place black for his biker club meetings. He moved the stage to the other side of the room and he built a new countertop. Then, the guy did an about face, told her he wasn't going to rent the space after all, and demanded she pay him. <laughs> no way. She's accused of bilking a biker. All parties, please take your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff built a countertop and stage at the defendant's dance performance place and got stiffed by the defendant, says the plaintiff suckered her and made it seem he was renting the space for his biker club meetings. It's the case of the gnarly Harley deal. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Perry, you were part of a um, motorcycle club, correct? Yes, yes, Tell Your Honor. me about your motorcycle club. Uh, we, we've been a motorcycle club for 42 years. Uh, been in the club about that length of time. Really? <laughs> so what you know, you guys we're, do? we're not young, young anymore. Yeah, hey, listen. <laughs> well, we ride, we do events, and uh, we travel. Okay. So your club was looking for a place to meet up. We were looking for a place to call our clubhouse. Okay. Because we lost our clubhouse about three years ago. Okay. And so you find her place. Yes. And you don't own it. You're um, you were going to sublet it, correct? That yes. was the idea. So you two talk. And you like the place? Yes. All right. But in order to rent the place, you have to have the approval of the whole club? Yes. How'd that work? So I spoke to her about uh, sharing space. Okay. And we were willing to take three days a week and pay her $1,200 a month. And she was fine with it, it seemed like, until the last minute. And then she, and she, her boyfriend told us that we have to pay uh, uh, by the hour. <laughs> so we didn't want it. And we okay, only but I don't that, understand. See, because part of your lawsuit is for improvements you made on the place. Yes. Why would you be making improvements well, before having to, uh, a lease in place? No, no, no. I wasn't making improvements for my club, so to speak. I was actually making improvements for her, and I, I told her that Was he she, making improvements for you? No. It's did you ask him space. to make the improvements? No, ma'am. What improvements did he make? He painted the studio black, and okay, it's Okay, what color was the studio before that? White. Okay, why did you let him make improvements before you two had, like, a sublet lease in place? Because we are are in our studio, we do have live performances, and if he's renting for twelve hundred, which was substantially help out on the rent, except for that you didn't have a lease yet. When you yes. say he's gonna, he's gonna, but he didn't, right? Yes. So why is I'm just so confused why you let him make improvements and why you make improvements when apparently it hadn't been voted on yet and there was no sublease in place. He explained that in order for his club to approve that they would make minor adjustments. And I did feel it would be of a bit of a benefit, not so much the black walls. OK, so uh, black walls and what else? He put in a very large counter. We call it a paint bar, because we do a lot of sip and paint parties. Because okay. we have a refrigerator there and a coffee pot. OK, so he put in a counter. And what else did he do? He, we already had a stage. The stage was actually built last March. Okay. He decided he didn't like the stage and wanted to rebuild it. Okay. So if you want to put in your money to rebuild something... Well, he's now suing you for all that. Yes, ma'am. Okay, did you ever agree with him that if they didn't rent it, you would pay for these improvements? No. Did you ever say you would pay for the materials for these improvements? No. Okay, and so you are suing her for the materials that you put in for those improvements, correct? That's correct. Do you have any proof that she... Are you saying she agreed? Yes. My first uh, conversation with her uh, was that uh, I'm, I'm not sure my, my club members would want to be here, but I can tell you, you do need to improve the place and make it. Now, she said, well, go ahead and do whatever you like. So then show me how you sent her immediately, since she's supposed to pay for it, how you sent her the receipt to get reimbursed. Judge, uh, I have texts from, from Adrian that will show that she was very aware about the... Uh, uh, paying for the material. 
Uh, she's aware she has to pay for the materials. Let me see that. What am I going to see? You know, all of these, you know, You're going to see it. where he sent me an original text saying his brother died, he hurt his leg, so on and so forth. I said, I can help you out. You can throw a party there. You can do whatever. What? And what are we talking about? I thought these guys were just going to rent by the month. Yes. And then he changed his mind, and that was in September. December was the first text where he's demanding money for the materials. On December 9th, he writes to you and he says, I'm suffering a knee injury. I lost um, my brother. I'm sorry about that. I need you to help take care of the Home Depot bill. By this date, by December 9th, everything hit the fan and we knew that they weren't renting. So this is after the fact. This isn't before the fact, which is what I was asking. You asking somebody to pay a bill isn't proof that they were obligated to pay the bill beforehand. All right? Um, she answers, Bob, I'm very sorry to hear about your brother and your knee and where things are slow. She goes into a full explanation about how she lost the church with the black walls. You didn't rent. You had three meetings there without paying for the space at a major discounted rate. I can send your club an invoice for 720. She said that. Um, and, uh, and I won't sue you for the church that has now broken the lease and won't come, which is $600 <laughs> a month. You can use that to help with your situation. And to which you respond, wow, I heard that you was like this and I didn't want to believe it. To which she responds, you heard that I can add and subtract? <laughs> you own businesses longer than I have. Do you really believe your club should meet for free? If I rent for free, that's known as a loss. How does he even have the meetings without having paid a penny? How many meetings were there, three or two? Two. You say there were three? There yeah. were. OK, but was there any agreement with them that they would pay by the meeting if they decided not to rent? In other words, if they had rented, mm -hmm. um, you would never charge them these three no. days? Right, so then you have to prove that this, uh, what's good for the goose is good for the yes. gander. So if, if you have to now prove that they agreed, because it looks like you're not charging them because you think that you're going to get the big <clears> account, <throat> you have to prove that they agreed that if you don't get the big account, you, they would pay you for the meeting space. Who's dumber here, the landlord or the tenant? The landlord. Because? Because he let him come in uh, without permission. That seems right. What do you say? I don't know. Okay, I'm me too, going inside the courtroom. Are you saying that he said, if you don't get the account, I will pay you $750? No, I won't say that. Okay. I, what I will say, because if I Because I know that didn't happen no, either, because neither what one I, of you are planners. Okay, but yeah. what I will say, if you look at the text messages, we did have a standard poetry night on the Friday, and his group wanted to meet that. And I said to him, if I cancel poetry, for that Friday night where I know we have people coming in and I have to pay a host and all that, I would expect 300 for that night. He most certainly said yes. And okay, it, it, find me that, that in your text. She didn't agree to it. Because if you find me that, then you're certainly entitled to that. Yes, By the way, you. there's uh, what you're suing for is the 417 in materials for the improvements, but you're also suing for $200 in wall hangings. What kind of wall hangings are they? Uh, there was some uh, uh, historical wall hangings of uh, Miles Davis and uh, but are they framed? some cultural thing. They're, They're framed? framed as well. So they yes. just come right off the wall, right? Yeah, they come right off. OK. Yeah. You should be able to get those. Yes. So we'll make arrangements that you can go pick those up. All right, mm -hmm. next thing. Show me those texts. Yeah. OK, no, this is, OK, guys, let me explain to you, because I think I'm, is my English not as good as I think no, it is? No, it's fantastic. OK. When I say I want proof that that was agreed upon beforehand, each of you have handed me proof that you whined about it later. Do you understand the distinction between what you're giving me and what I am asking for? See, here's the thing. Uh, you have absolutely no agreement beforehand. Then you tr attempt to negotiate an agreement, and then it didn't work for whatever reason. It, does, it doesn't work. And then now, you, both of you want to pretend there was a contract for your losses that you willingly incurred in order to get the agreement. Says who? You'd have to show me a contract. You'd have to show me a contract where she agreed to pay you $800. You'd have to show me a contract where he agreed to pay you, what was it? Did you counterclaim or no? No. She oh, offered me well, to come back and then. get my okay. material, Your Honor. OK, you're not getting your materials because you can't prove she agreed to that. I'm going to ask you one more time. You got some proof you're hiding somewhere? Because I asked you if you can uh, prove it. You, you in said the no. Texas, in the Texas. Oh, honey, I didn't see a text. You, didn't read, she... you didn't read that Look, long Give him back his text. phone. <laughs> and now I'm going to be very specific yeah. because my time is valuable. I might Find be. me a text okay. where before the fact she agrees. Because the text you showed me was my brother passed 
and oh, I no, had knee surgery. It's deeper than That's that. the text you showed me, okay. and that is not before the fact. Okay. So now I'm going to hand you your phone back. You find me where she agrees beforehand, okay. and then you're entitled to every penny. Well, it's not beforehand. It's after the fact, Your okay. Honor. What part of what I am explaining to you do you not understand? I understand. Okay. Your so you you whining later. I want you to pay this is not proof of a contract. And you whining later, I want you to pay this, is also not proof of a contract. So in each of your respective lawsuits against the other, zero. With the exception of the wall hangings, I am ordering you to go ahead and return them to him. Okay? That's my verdict. So Judge Melian decides there was no agreement between the parties and nobody gets anything. Except, Mr. Perry, you're going to get those pictures back. You know, you were ripper on mad when you came in here about okay. this. That's what that's, it looked like. It. Yeah, yeah. That's what Not I understood. Really. No. How are you now? You didn't I'm get good. it. I'm good. I'm good. Well, look, it's this way it is. The judge uh, made her order. She sure did. Yeah. And you just didn't have the evidence to prove. Why'd you paint the walls black? Though? Why not? It's very hard to cover if you want to repaint it, you know. Really? Yeah. Just yeah. put some prime on it. All right. Okay. Good enough. Well, Take sorry it. you lost out. Okay. All that's right. it. Adrienne, if you'll come out here, let me ask you, how, you know, you're upset too. Everybody was no, mad I'm at everybody. I'm actually not upset. You're I'm not? not, no, I'm not. We have a art studio. We do live performances. This is all about being creative. Okay. It worked out the way it was supposed to. Are you it's upset okay. he painted the walls black? No, it looks at, it looks nice. It's just that the church said that I knew the church was going to leave. So yeah. you give up 600 okay. to hopefully get 12. But they did a nice job, and we finished it up, and now it looks even more gorgeous. So I'm okay. Okay, well, good. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Okay, okay. Harvey? Okay, really simple. It is insane to go in and make adjustments to a place before you sign the lease.